was just trying to see if this reaction I was using went to completion and then my product is what I was trying to make but my boiling point is so off so I can't be sure I have the correct product oh have you tried using the IR IR what's that well, IR stands for infrared spectroscopy and is a technique that uses infrared light to induce vibrational states and... Woohoo! Who? Slow down! Infrared? Spectral what? Maybe start from the beginning. Okay, well, infrared spectroscopy was an early technique used to help identify the structures of a molecule. You see, when infrared light hits a molecule, it becomes excited and vibrates. There are six different types of vibrations. Symmetric, asymmetric, rocking, scissors, twisting, and wagging. These molecules undergo a vibrational energy level change if there's a change in dipole movement, which we can detect. Does that make sense? Yes, sort of. Maybe you can give me an example. Oh, a problem. Sure. Let's say we have CO2, a three atom molecule. Knowing the number of molecules is very important in IR because it allows us to calculate the degrees of freedom. Wait, what are the degrees of freedom? Well, they are basically the number of different ways a molecule can move and are used for spatial characterization because atoms require three coordinates, x, y, z, to determine their position in space. We multiply three times the number of atoms n. Well, CO2 is a linear molecule, so we would use number of vibrations equals 3n minus 5, where n is the number of atoms giving us four normal vi vibrational modes for CO2. So we could expect IR to check four bands. Now let's look at an IR readout of CO2. Oh, why are there only two bands? Shouldn't there be four? Do you have any idea why that is? Does it have to do with the change in the dipole moment of the molecular? Exactly. If you remember our vibrational modes and the structure of CO2, you notice that the only two vibrational modes cause this molecule to undergo a change in dipole moment. The rest merely cause the molecule to rotate and are not detectable. Okay, that makes sense. Since I do know the structure of my product, which is tubintanol, I will give it a shot. So in my spectrum, I have a broad band at 3000, which represents the alcohol functional group. For some reason, I thought my product was tubintanol, but the presence of the OH band instead of the C double O band that it's really is two pintano. Thanks, red nose puppet. You're welcome, glasses puppet.